What's up everybody, it's Two Flocka back at it again with another YouTube video. Today we're in the yard. We're going to be doing the worst build and we're going to go try to win a game with my projected worst build. I really honestly do think this is the worst build in the game. Let's get right into the build. Okay, so some of you guys might hate on me for this, but I have never ever seen a good possession wide receiver come and dominate me. I am just going to be brutally honest. So this is, I've played a game with it or game or two with it. He runs like a 40 speed. It's almost unplayable. It's kind of terrible, especially when you put it next to Fast Cat or any other build that you could put at wide receiver. You put Fast Cat at wide receiver. You can put Trust at wide receiver. And obviously, you could do Rackzilla at wide receiver. And they're all going to be better than the possession wide receiver. Speed is kill in every mode in Madden history, basically. But here, the, uh, the X Factor is not too bad. He does have high success rate on possession catches called maximum security. Comeback, probably the worst ability in the game. Probably the worst ability in the game. Reduce zone objectives while losing. I don't lose, so that won't ever be there. No, I'm just kidding. But I don't think this is even worth it. It's just it's just not the best. It's not the best. You really it might help when you're using this build because he is a terrible wide receiver and you might be down in some games. But basically comeback is a terrible ability, so I put it on the terrible build. And then pick artist. This one's just not I wouldn't say it's a terrible, terrible, terrible ability. It's just I didn't see any other thing to put there besides pick artist. Maybe tip drill, but I think tip drill you'd even get more effect out of it. And pick artist, that's only if you get an interception and you have a lane to run, then your stamina will be boosted back up. But that doesn't always happen. It's not consistent. So this is an ability that will barely ever be activated. That's why I'm saying these two are the worst abilities to throw on the possession you can't guard me build. And we're going to go into a game and try to win with this god-awful build. Let's see if we can do it. Let's head right into the gameplay. We are going to be taking Cot Gubbins, Cot Gubbins on today in our first game. We do have him at wide receiver. Let's see if we can get something going here. I want. Oh, it seems like he can't even get us. We can't even get a uh, distance on that guy over there. Can't even talk right now. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, Matt Stafford's taking off to the crib. There's nothing there. We're going to have to try out a different route there because normally wide receivers in one-on-one -on -one kill in that route, but it doesn't seem like he's getting any uh, yardage off of his player. We're going to have to try to get something going with this player. He is a little, just a tiny bit slow, just a tiny bit. I also do have him at level one, so he is pretty much the worst you can get him. But let's see if we can get him, let's see what this can do here. Let's see if we can get him on a nice little stop route here. Let's see what he could do. We're going to throw a low pass here. Oh, we do, and his player gets there just in time. That was really good defense by him. I do not know why he didn't go for the pick. He had it. Let's see if we can get an out route to him, or whatever that is. We're going to wait on it. We're not going to try to force it. I think he is going to run upfield, though. He's not. We're just going to chuck it up. Oh, man, and nothing good happens from there. We're going to get a better second uh, possession. Trust me on that. Let's see how, what he could do on defense, though. That was a terrible, terrible first possession. I never, I just, maybe it's because I'm forcing the ball, but I never have possessions like that. But we're going to try to work him in slowly. We're not going to keep forcing him the ball because that's how you lose pretty much. That's how you lose games in the yard. We're going to try to bait here. What? Oh, Matt Stafford with the interception. Matt Stafford with the. We did get that. I did not know. I tried to go down so we can get a touchdown with our wide receiver. But, hey, Matt Stafford wanted that slide. The slide is low-key clean in this mad, and I'm not going to lie. We are using the Michael Thomas build. Let's do the Michael Thomas slant. Let's see if we can get him open here. It doesn't seem like we are. We're going to just throw it. And I... The ball disappears? I did not see where the ball went at all there. If you guys saw the ball, I have no clue where that went. Let's see what we can do in defense, though. He's going to throw here. I'm going to try to get this bait again. He's just going to throw it up. My Kenny G does get the interception. Thank Lord. We're going to go down here. We need to get our wide receiver some highlights here, boys. We need to. This is the last possession. Trust me. We need to get something at least. Let's go with this play here. Let's try to get him in a one-on-one -on -one against Justin Jefferson here. We're going to throw it here. I think he does have him beat. Yes, he does. He does catch that ball. This build might not be too bad if he is max level. But him being very underleveled, he is kind of slow. I mean, I'm guessing he's really slow besides that. We're going to throw it up to him. 
and he does get an interception. No, that is the last possession of the game. But now we got to clutch it up with some defense before we head into game two. This might be tough, boys. We do have Matt Stafford playing safety. He's going to throw it down short, and we're going to get the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Let's go. Our defense is holding up, at least. We have two points allowed, and that is from my two interceptions. So that is just some terrible, terrible offense this game. Let's just see if we can get another stop to end the game. He's going to throw it underneath once again and run out of bounds for a three-yard gain. I don't know what he was planning on doing there, but we'll take it. We'll take that. We're not going to blitz him here. I'm going to user David Montgomery because it is a cover two. I don't want to see no cover two killers. Oh, Eddie Jackson gets the tap there. He did have a wide open slant over the middle. We're going to play really deep here in the deep zone safe. I want to get a last. This is going to be the last play of the game if we do get a stop here. I'm going to play the red line here. The first down line. I'm going to just hover it over it. And probably got to just keep everything underneath me. And he does just. Oh, I don't know why, but I thought he juked. And I went for a hit stick. Like, not even playing conservative at all. We could have lost that. But let's head right into game two. Let's see if we can get going with the receiver. All right, the second game here. We're going to be starting off on defense once again. Let's see if we can get going here. We are playing the same ca same guy we got matched up against. He does throw that. I did try to bait it a little bit. I thought I thought Adam Thielen was a little taller. I have no clue how tall he is. He's like 6'1", 6'2", but we did not get the bait there. He is trying to kill me on that corner route or that, the corner play. We're going to man him up with Stafford. See what he's going to do here. This is a different play. We are going to get the pick there. He didn't think I saw the second slant behind. But, hey, we did. Let's see if we can get started on offense now. I'm kind of excited. I want to try out this route right here. Where is it at? This route. Oh, I am mistaken. I did not see this out the outside. We're going to try to send him, actually. First play of the game? Hey, why not? Let's try to get a bailout. That is a kind of a bad throw. That was a terrible throw. It's nowhere even near him. We do have a golden Matt Stafford, too. I have no clue what is going on on offense. We're not going to do that anymore. We're just going to try to get him on slants. Maybe try to get him in the open field. I know he's not the best player, but we'll, we'll try to get something. Let's see who's going to run here. He is. Ooh, I thought he was going to throw. I'm watching the second throw, and he wastes that possession when he could have ran. I don't know why the yard lets you throw when you're across the line. If you're, like, stuck in animation like that, it should automatically cancel it. If you know what I, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Oh, I thought he was going to throw that, and I thought I had a nice little pick. Ooh, we do get a big hit there. If we had our other builds with Enforcer, we probably might have forced a fumble. They're straight on hit against a... A low quality wide receiver. I know St. Brown always. I think the max he can get is a purple. So we do get a sack there on third and fifth. Now it is fourth and ten. We get another stop here, and we're gonna keep this guy from scoring ever on us. Cause even last game we couldn't even get a score. We're gonna man this up here, and then I'm going to play the slant. Oh, he might have this. No, he's just faster. I think we might have stopped him. Did we stop him there? We did. That's crazy. I didn't even think we even got close there. I don't know what route to run. What do you guys... This run's probably the best. But the thing is, he does, he is a little slow, so it's kind of hard to get him the ball. We're going to do it, though. I think he did create some space, finally. He does, and he breaks the tackle because it is a pretty big wide receiver. We are going to score. I'm sorry, I do got to taunt a little bit there. We do get our first big touchdown. What the possession, you can't guard me, receiver. With two terrible abilities that are not helping him at all. But, hey, it's better than nothing. So he does have his ability. I do kind of just want to throw him. Let's kind of let's kind of just throw him on a streak here. Let's see. He is gonna man him up, and oh, we kind of just force it there. He obviously I'm throwing it there. I, I don't know if he knows I'm doing a gameplay, but I don't know. He's just ruining my gameplay right now. But hey, we guys know that he can break those tackles, and he is a level one, so he's not too bad. He does drop the slant there. I'm telling you guys, that wide receiver is really good. That St. Brown. But he's really slow. The, he, I think he's the fourth string wide receiver on the Packers, actually, right? Yeah, on the Packers. He's the fourth string wide receiver on the Packers. He has like if you play in if you if any of you guys are Red Games players, he has a he has like a 94 speed and he's like 6'4. He's a great player to play with in regs. I love it. He is gonna throw deep here. Let's see if I can get a pick. He almost one hands it mosses me. But hey, we do get a stop there at fourth and twelve. We're going to try to get, um, let's go with the deep zone blitz, I guess. We don't want Matt Stafford playing back there. We'll use your Matt Stafford. It's better than nothing. Let's see if we can get going here. Oh, no. Okay, Trey Flowers does get hit, sticked, and drop it. I thought he was wide open and was going to catch that very easily. But it doesn't seem like he's going to at all. 
All right, let's see if we can get our guy going here. We're going to just toss it to him, get him in open space a little bit. Trey Flowers is faster than my possession wide receiver. Mine is blown. But we probably should have thrown him at uh, – we probably – we do make him quit. That is two guys that quit in the same game. Well, it was the same player. We made him quit twice. But anyways, this has been Chew Flock. I know this build is terrible. I tried to get him the ball as much as I could. Let me know if you guys have any worse builds with two abilities you could slap on a build. I think this is the worst in my opinion. I tried other ones involving the Manimal tight end. But the Manimal just kind of played better for me. He can block. He can do a lot more than the possession wide receiver can. So just let me know if you guys have any worse that I could do a video on or do gameplay on or anything. And we'll do it right there for you guys. We're looking for ideas right now. But anyways, this has been Chew Flacka. Peace out, boys.